Hello everyone, welcome to Go VM Lab VMware scenario based interview question and answer series. As we have mentioned many times that this series of lectures going to help our learners and professionals preparing for VMware L3 or senior level profile interviews. Now throughout this lecture series we have been keep discussing about some of the very basic concepts of vSphere networking. We have touched upon some of the scenarios about vSphere traffic flows teaming failover policies, VLAN tagging policies, and so on and so forth. So now let's continue our discussion further and let's see that what problem statement has been given in the question number 15. So with that, let's get started. So now here is our question number 15. And before we go and look at the problem statement given in the question number 15, let's try to understand this diagram and let's try to simplify this diagram for all of our learners here. So now if you really see that in this particular diagram, it's one of the very basic simplistic diagram you would have seen many times in your vSphere career. So as you could see that this is your virtual machine. So this is our virtual machine named as VM1, which is actually connected to a port group named as PG1. Now this port group is created on a virtual switch named as virtual switch zero. And this virtual switch has a uplink connectivity with two different uplink named as VMNIC zero and VMNIC one, which means that we know that as when my virtual switch is configured with more than one uplinks, we called that configuration as teaming configuration. So now our virtual switch is configured in a teaming mode. And now we do have a two different uplinks, VMNIC 0 and VMNIC 1 to provide the network level redundancy. Now both of these uplinks are connected to our two different switch ports of our physical switch as mentioned in the diagram. And if you really see that this virtual switch is actually resides in your ESXi host named as ESXi1. So that's how our diagram looks like here. Now one of the thing to notice here in this particular diagram is that the bandwidth what is supported by each of these adapter or each of these physical uplinks. So if you really see that your VMNIC0 adapter is supporting 10 Gbps network bandwidth whereas your VMNIC1 adapter is only capable of giving 1 Gbps network bandwidth. So that's the, the difference what we do see it here in this particular diagram where the bandwidth supported by both of the adapters is different. VMNIC0 is capable of providing 10 Gbps bandwidth whereas VMNIC1 is only capable of giving us 1 Gbps bandwidth. So that's how our diagram looks like one of the very simplistic diagram of your vSphere networking. Now let's look at the problem statement. The problem statement says that in a given scenario, your VM1 is communicating to the internet 8.8.8 .8 using VMNIC0 uplink connectivity. What it says that in this given diagram, your VMNIC0 is an active adapter and VMNIC1 as a standby adapter, which means that you have configured your virtual switch in a teaming mode and the policy what you have configured here is explicit failover order. That's the teaming policy have been configured here. That's what it looks like from the given problem statement. Now what it says that this virtual machine one is actually trying to communicate to let's say internet or maybe let's say Google server 8.8.8. .8. And when this VM is trying to communicate to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 server, the packet is going through active adapter and that active adapter is VMNIC zero because that is the active adapter in our teaming configuration. So the packet is going through VMNIC 0 and it's hitting your external server. Now suddenly your VMNIC 0 goes down and application start facing network latency and slowness, slowness issue. How could you fix application slowness issue once VMNIC 0 comes up? So the problem statement says that your virtual machine 1 is actually communicating to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 server which is external server and this communication is happening via this VMNIC 0 because that is the active adapter in our team. But then what it says that suddenly this adapter goes down and as when this adapter goes down, the application start facing network latency and slowness issue. So how would you fix this application slowness issue as when your VMNIC 0 comes up? So now this is a very straightforward, a very simplistic question. What has been asked here? I would suggest that pause the video here analyze the scenario, analyze the given statement, analyze the scenario, analyze the problem statement given in this scenario and try to find out the answer of this scenario that how would you solve application slowness issue 
as when your VMIX0 comes up and it recovers from the failure. So now this is the time for us to reveal the answer for all of our learners for the given problem statement here. So now if you see the problem statement here, what it says that this VMNIC0 is a 10 gig adapter. VMNIC1 is a 1 gig adapter, which is a well defined here. VMNIC0 has been an active adapter and VMNIC1 has been a standby adapter as per the configuration what we discussed earlier. So now we know that at, by default, the packet was actually going through 10 gig adapter and we know that 10 gig adapter will always be giving a much better bandwidth and throughput as compared to 1 gig adapter. And that is the reason when this application was trying to access 8.8.8 .8 server, there was no slowness issue. But when the slowness issue started occurring as when this adapter goes down, because in the event of VMNIC0 failure, what has happened here that as when this adapter goes down, your teaming configuration would have informed the VM kernel that this adapter is down. So please switch over the traffic to VMNIC1. And because in the event of failure, we had configured this adapter as a standby adapter and it got changed from standby to active adapter and all the traffic flows started flowing through this VMNIC adapter. But the problem here is that though we did not face any network connectivity issues because we know that that is the whole idea of teaming policy or failover policies where if the active adapter goes down in the team, the standby adapter takes over. And that's what happened in this scenario also where VMNIC1 has taken over the traffic. But the problem in this given scenario that though the VMNIC1 has taken over the traffic, but the bandwidth what this adapter is supporting is only one GBPS. Whereas earlier, adapter was supporting 10 GBPS. So now you know that when the traffic fail over, we did not face any network connectivity issue, but we have seen the application slowness issue because the traffic has failed over to a adapter, which is having a much lesser bandwidth, which is a one GBPS. And that is the reason we are facing this particular slowness issue that is expected. But then what the question is saying that how could you fix this slowness issue once your VMNIC zero comes up? So we know that as when my VMNIC0 comes up, so when the traffic was going through this standby adapter, we want this traffic to fail back again to VMNIC0. Because as when my VMNIC0 adapter comes up, I don't want this traffic to continue flowing over this one gig adapter, which doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense because you know that your VMNIC0 adapter has been recovered from the failure and it's a it's an active adapter now, then why would you continue flowing your traffic through this one gig adapter and facing this application? slowness issue. So how would you fix this problem? You will be fixing this problem by switching over or failing over this traffic back to VMNIC0 supporting 10 gig bandwidth. And how do you do that? The very basic thing to do this configuration is your failback policy. So there is a failback policy in your teaming configuration where you have to configure this policy as yes. When you configure your failback policy as yes, which means that in the event of failure, the traffic has failed over to VMNIC1, but as when this adapter comes up, I want this failback policies to be configured. I want this uh, traffic to be failed over on my previous ad active adapter. And that's where what will happen, the traffic will again fail back to your 10 gig adapter because you have configured failback policies as yes. But if you had configured failback policy as no, in that case, what would have happened even if your adapter have come up from the failure, it would have recovered from the failure, your traffic will continue to flow through VMNIC1 adapter and you will be continuously facing the application slowness issue until unless this adapter goes down and the traffic fails over to VMNIC0. So now in this particular given problem statement, it's a very basic scenario what we have seen it here, what we have discussed it here. But the one key thing you really need to understand is the failback policy configuration. If you configure the failback policy, no, you will be continuously facing this slowness issue, even if your VMNIC0 adapter having a 10 gig bandwidth comes up. But if you had configured failback policy as yes, which is very important for a VMware administrator perspective, once you configure failback policy as yes, as when your VMNIC0 adapter comes up, the traffic will switch over to VMNIC0 and you will solve this application network latency and slowness issue. So that's the answer to this particular question where as when my VMNIC0 goes down, the traffic fails over to VMNIC1 just to make sure that we don't have any network connectivity issue. 
but as when my vmnic zero adapter comes up i want this traffic to again fail over to my 10 gig adapter and that can only be done once you configure your failback policy as yes if you have interest in learning vmware more in depth not from a administration perspective but from the architect or consulting perspective then join our vmware vsphere zero to hero data center expert program this particular program has been highly rated by all of our learners 100 plus careers have been transitioned successfully with our zero to hero data center expert deep dive program with the 100 percent placement record now what are the key highlights of this program as you could see that it's india's first job ready vmware learning program which has a 70 hours of intense learning with the 80 plus hands-on labs 40 plus scenarios would be presented to a learner as a challenge questions to assess their learning. We do have a mentors having a 15 years of experience and the certified professionals. You would be getting opportunity to have a one on one in person doubt clarification session with the VMware mentor and this particular zero to hero program will also preparing learners for L3 or senior level profiles. Now we have transitioned many careers with our deep dive program and you can see some of the feedbacks right here on your screen. These are the feedbacks what we have received from all of our successful learners who has transitioned their career with us. So what are you waiting for? If you want to become VMware expert or want to master this technology, then call us now today on the given number or maybe drop us email on the provided email address. Thank you.